How's it going everybody? This is Beach and Bush. Gasoline prices has increased dramatically because of the Russian Ukraine crisis. Today, I want to explain why it's safe to use a lower octane gasoline in your car if you have a more modern type of car. I go through this view with people that I know all the time. There's a lot of misconception about higher octane ratings and what your car says that you should put in. So if you are touchy about high octane rating and feeding your nice car the best there is because it requires a 93 octane, well, just bear with me a little bit and watch this video. This video is brought to you by the Webull Trading App. If you open up an account, you can get up to five free stocks valued between $27 and $9,600. It's gonna be valued at least $27 and you have a chance of getting much more. All you have to do is open up an account and deposit just one penny in order to qualify. In addition to this, if you trade just $1 worth of crypto, you get $5 worth of crypto for free. You might be wondering, why are they giving away free stocks and free money? It's because they want you on board. They're willing to pay money to have you try the app. So all you have to do is just get it, put in a little bit of money, try it out, and you get some free stocks. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. You know, gasoline, it was like hovering around $3, especially in California. And then when it hits $4, you know, your eyebrows raised, your eyes get bigger. When it hits $5, you're like, oh my gosh. And then sometimes you see the $6, ah! It might hit $7, $8, I don't know, $9 even. There's not even gonna be any gasoline coming in from Russia, but this is gonna make us feel better because they're killing innocent people in Ukraine. This is just ridiculous. Bombing hospitals and, you know, saying that there's gonna be a humanitarian corridor and then bombing the crap out of that. Anyway, let me not get too political here. I used to own a Porsche Boxer and it requires me to put in supreme grade. But for the last six years of my car ownership of that car, I put in the lowest grade because I wanna save some money. It's like 40, 50 cents cheaper per gallon. And you know what? When I switched to the lower grade, I do not notice any perceivable difference in terms of miles per gallon. The amount of energy that is in each gallon of fuel of lower octane versus higher octane is roughly equivalent. What's the difference between a low octane and high octane gasoline? In order to figure this out, you have to know how the engine works. It sprays aerosolized gasoline into the combustion chamber and it squeezes it and then it ignites it. When it ignites, it pushes the engine back and it causes work to be done and then your engine to be spinning. But for low octane gasoline, if you squeeze it too much, it can actually spontaneously combust. And when this happens, before you actually intended to ignite the gasoline, it's gonna push back on the engine. When it pushes back on the engine earlier than expected, it's gonna cause a knocking in your engine. The higher octane actually delays the ignition of your gasoline so that it can withstand higher pressures before it actually spontaneously combusts. So instead of it doing it by itself. It's gonna squeeze your gasoline and then it's gonna ignite it purposely with a spark plug. So an engine might perform better with a higher octane rating. In other words, when you actually drive it with the proper octane rating that it asks for, you're gonna feel a little bit more power. In my gut feeling of switching to a lower one, it might be like 10, 15 horsepower difference. But the thing here is in all modern cars, the ones that have a computer in it, if you put in a lower octane rating, it's not gonna ruin your engine or anything. Your computer in the engine is gonna realize your gasoline is trying to combust a little bit earlier. It's gonna adjust the timing and everything is gonna work just fine. If you are the type that drives regularly, you're not like a lead-footed type person, you wanna race from one stoplight to another, then you're not gonna notice any difference at all. So it's actually really, really safe to use a lower octane rating in a higher octane car that requires it as long as it has a computerized control in a modern car. So if you're using like a really, really old car, like 1950s type of car, then you can't do this. But I had a 2001 Porsche Boxster. This is like a 21 year old car and you can safely put in a lower octane in that car. Some people is gonna worry, oh no, it's gonna ruin the car 
or that when I first got the car, I wanted to put in the Supreme because I just want to baby it. I'm like, okay, you know, I, I don't know anything about the car and this whole high octane, low octane rating stuff. So I'm just going to do what it asked me to do. But if you understand the underlying principles of what this high octane rating is, as I explained to you, it's for anti-knock control and your computer is going to take care of this. You can put whatever you want in it. As long as you don't put in diesel in a regular gasoline car, right? Don't put in diesel. That's for diesel trucks and stuff, right? You just put in a lower octane rating, 87, whatever that's available, right? These days, it's like a whole dollar cheaper. So if you just do this kind of step right here, you can kind of mitigate the increase in gasoline prices. If you're trying to save on gasoline, some of the major things that you can do that can quickly reduce the amount that you use is of course, pull together the stuff that you want to do for errands so that you only make one single trip and you do all of it at the same time. In other words, you just drive less. With the pandemic these days, if you work from home, you're going to be driving less. You also want to have your tires inflated properly. I check my tires probably once every month or two because it's an older car. It kind of leaks air a little bit. So make sure that it's within like one or two PSI and then you will get really good gas mileage. Also remove all the stuff that you don't use in the trunk so that you're not carrying around a bunch of stuff everywhere. If you have a bike rack on top that actually reduces your gas mileage and also when you drive on the freeway, make sure your windows are closed so that you reduce the air drag of your car. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps you make a decision if you want to actually try this or not. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.